Halt! Who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scarlet's blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzig Kabila of Dvoyets. Of course you are, lad, and I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship and what makes you think he'll see you? Come on, I'm not some peasant. I'm Sir Radzig's blacksmith and I need to speak with him. It's my job to stop you. Now bugger off. Maybe a little coin would clear the way? How much do you want? See how nicely we can get along? Welcome to the town. See you survived. Aren't you observant? You still owe me. Don't think I've forgotten. I don't owe you. I owe your father, and he's dead. So get out of here. You realize I could kill you without a moment's thought. Anytime I want to, you coward. Haha, <laughs> really? Then go ahead. Show me. Got about that money you owe me. Fine. I owe you. And what am I supposed to do about it? You think you'll get anything from me? Look at what I've got. But maybe I could... Maybe I could tell you where you can find some money. If you forgive my debt, that is. All right, then. Start talking. No. First, I want you to swear you won't be demanding anything else from me. Very well, then. Talk. When we were running from Scalettes, I heard something. I don't know who said it. It's a miracle I could even hear it in that chaos. Either way, somebody hid a lot of coin under a dovecot. Under a dovecot? And that's it? That's all I know. How many dovecots could there be in Scalettes? If you've got the guts to go back there, you're bound to find it. Fine. We'll see. Good people, come up close and have a smell. Fresh bread. Heavens, lad. You're looking bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Last time I saw you, I thought you were ready for the priest. To be honest, I'm still not really feeling myself. Oh, get on with you. You have a good strong frame that can take a beating, so be a man. Do you know anything about getting rid of wandering souls? The restless dead? I might know a bit about that. It depends who wants to know. I wouldn't want to be accused of heresy. Oh, come now, Konyash. You helped me once before, so I'd like to ask you for something again. Fine. You're right, Henry. I won't lie to you. I'm interested in occult teachings and a bit of alchemy. It's far more than just old wives' tales. I truly believe it's a science. So what exactly do you need? To help a village woman from Ledechko. Her neighbor's ghost has been haunting her. 
He visits her every night. You don't say. Now this is interesting. Revenant spectral beings, cursed souls from beyond the grave. Yes, exactly. Her house is haunted. To put it vulgarly, my lad, to put it vulgarly. But there are spells that can banish restless souls back to the realm of the beyond. Now that's what I wanted to hear. And do you know the spells? Well, I'd like to learn at least one. But the only book I know that contains them has been classified amongst the Libri Prohibiti. I've no idea what that means. The spell's written in a forbidden book. A book that's in Latin and kept under lock and key in the monastery. It's called Liber de Mortuis, Necronomiconos. Do you need to know any more? Do you want me to steal the book? If you want to get rid of that revenant, you have no other choice. When you bring me that book, we can cast the spell together, since you don't know Latin. Fine. I'll bring the book. You'll find it in the monastery library. But it won't be easy to get in. Truth be told, I don't know of anyone who is able to break in. And out. Without getting into big trouble. I'll try. Good day to you. What do you need? Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Hmm. I don't know. God save you. Would you happen to have any work for me? Of course I would. And, surprise, surprise, it's another ring. Like last time. Properly done this time. Proper hard work. And who else to set the task to than you? The ring leader, so to speak. The thing is, one of the rich townsmen left his ring behind the last time he went to the baths for some wenching. Too drunk to see it, no doubt. And now he wants it back, and the baths deny all knowledge. Why not turn to the bailiff? Why not? Because he doesn't want anyone to know about his bathhouse visits. And the girls in the baths are wary of selling the ring in case the bailiff does start looking for it after all. So we'll make life easier for them. What do you say? Consider it done, provided I get something out of it. Don't worry. You won't be left short. The ring's hidden in the chest in the bathhouse madam's chambers. Come right back with it once you have it. Goodbye.
He's thieving! Help! Hey! Arrest the thief! God be with you. I have that ring for you. Excellent. They'll be hopping mad at the baths once they find out. Here's your reward. And don't turn it all into drink. pay for all your crimes. What? So the thief takes us all for fools. I'll show you how we deal with poor innocent me's here. And it's not just the theft you'll answer for. Well, you won't forget this in a hurry, because it'll take a nice pile of coin to fix it. I won't put up with any more of this. Keep it up, and you'll rue the day you cross me. What's your game, boy? I'm not going to swallow that one. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Ah! Ah! Thank your guardian angel, I didn't have time to teach you some manners. Next time you won't be so lucky. Wait a moment! You're him, right? The boy from Scalic! Thank <laughs> you. 